Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I thought I would give you a quick update on how my little white blushing Tetra is doing. She is the one we've been treating for ick of the 13 fish that came. She was the only one that survived. She is looking pretty much 100% better. Here she is. So as you can see, there's no ick left on her, although her back fin and her bottom fin are definitely still a little torn up. We did treat her, we treated the whole tank because once she, she was very infected, um, her little blue guys started to get infected as well. And as you can see, they are all fixed up now. They are not showing any signs of ick. So we did use the ick medicine, which um, I'll link below, but it, it kind of dyed the plants blue here. Only that one, really. I took everything out of the aquarium and only put some short blue plants in while we were treating for ick so that it wouldn't dye the columns or the other white or pink plants. Um, but even after we had done a 50% water change for the final time, we were doing them every day for a while. Um, even after the last dose, the next day we did a water change before putting the plants and the columns and everything back in, there was still enough ick medicine left to dye that little anemone blue. So um, we're going to go right over here for a second. Oh, there's Lily. <laughs> she likes to lay there so she can see the fish. So this is my other fish tank. And you can see... See that little guy, the little purple tetra, and the little black tetras. They have very long fins like the blushing one is supposed to have. So ideally, her fins will be back to that soon. Now that we're done treating for ick, we'll start dosing with the Meliflex to try and regrow her fins so that she can swim and be healthy and be beautiful. So thanks for stopping in. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time. Bye.